Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Sadie and we are starting week 10 out of 20 of ultra marathon training. I, for the past week, actually haven't run at all. I explained a little bit on my Instagram, so if you've seen that, you'll already know. But I actually got a non-surgical rhinoplasty or a nose job, basically. <laughs> so basically it's just filler in my nose, essentially. Um, because my nose was like super bumpy before and it's just straightened it out and I'm so, so happy with it. Um, yeah, I'll put before and after photos up here. Um, yeah, it's made such a huge difference, honestly. But it's meant that I can't run for, well, I couldn't run for the past seven days, um, for the past week. But I am finally back at it. <laughs> I am really, really hot right now. It is so hot today. It is insane. And normally I would be running today, but I've decided to swap it out for my weight training session, which would normally be tomorrow. Um, yeah, one, it's hot. Two, my recovery wasn't great last night. So I need something that is shorter in length, basically. Um, tonight was supposed to be an 11k easy run, which would take me about an hour and a half based on my very, very slow pace of an easy run. Um, but yeah, I just need something that's a little bit shorter um, and a little bit easier on my exertion levels. So yeah, that is the plan for tonight. Um, and then obviously tomorrow I'll be doing the easy run instead. But yeah, just doing a little swap around. Um, but oh. I'm just gonna get ready <laughs> for the gym now. Um, I'll be so glad to take my makeup off because I'm literally boiling. <laughs> gym now it was a really really good session i have actually started recently um basically reducing the weights and increasing the reps in my workouts and i've been finding that is so much more effective um particularly where i'm running a lot i don't know i just don't want to lift really heavy weights and do you know kind of eight ish reps um yeah i've just found it a lot better to reduce the weight by literally half and then aim for more you know 15 to 20 kind of reps um yeah really been enjoying it and i've actually been hitting pbs with it which i haven't done in a very very long time but i'm just getting it in the shower now it's still very very hot this evening um so i think it's going to be a cold shower for sure <laughs> It is now Tuesday. I'm just about to head out for my run. It is a 10 kilometer run today at an easy pace. And it's definitely gonna be a long one. <laughs> my easy pace is super, super slow. So yeah, I reckon I'm gonna be out for like an hour and a half, I'm gonna estimate. Um, but yeah, I don't know what route I'm gonna do yet. Honestly, no clue, but I guess I'll just figure it out. Um, this is also my first run since it was a week on Saturday. So it's been a little while, um, but I'm looking forward to it. I've got an audiobook ready to go. I'm listening to Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets at the moment, um, working my way through the whole series. So yeah, I've definitely, at least I've got that to keep me company. <laughs> So I'm just doing a quick warm up and I had a little look at my app. Turns out it is actually 11k. Um, so pretty close, but <laughs> not quite on the mark. Um, but yeah, 11k easy run today. Still don't know where I'm going to go, but <laughs> I'll figure it out. So I've just come down to the area um, that I usually do my long runs on recently. Um, it's like a little trail route and yeah but it's all like paved and stuff it's like a like a cycle route a uh, national cycle route and it's it's so lovely and i'm like beneath under the trees so it really feels like the temperature has dropped as well which is really good and yeah just having a great time to be honest i am all back from my run now put my stats up here 
I was actually really, really close with my estimate. I think it was literally just over an hour and a half. So yeah, pretty happy with that. Um, obviously it's not down to pace or anything like that. Um, but my heart rate was average of 147, which I'm very, very happy about. I'm just gonna go clean up now and get ready for bed. It is now Wednesday. I am just about to head out for my run. I really, really, really don't want to go. <laughs> um, but it's gotta be done. I've literally just got to get out, get started, and I'm sure I'll be fine. It's a speed run today, hence why I really don't wanna go, but it's what it is. Just gotta get out there. Oh my goodness, I'm done. Oh, that last rep was so hard. I had to stop, like, this is about halfway, because I just, oh, just couldn't handle it. But thank God, all done now. I've got a little tiny rest, about 75 seconds left, and then just a chill 800 meters. I am all done with my run. It was so good. I'll put my stats up here. I also met a little dog um, on the way back with his owner and had a little chat about my ultra marathon training. Um, and he is also um, an endurance cyclist. So yeah, we spoke a little bit about that. Um, so yeah, really nice to have a little human interaction at the end there as well. Um, I feel so bloated. <laughs> I always do after speed runs. Um, even from like midway, I was just pff, felt so bloated. Oh, but I'm gonna grab a shower now, and um, really want to rehydrate, get some food, and definitely need to tidy up my room because there's a uh, yeah quite a few bits on my bed. <laughs> It is now Thursday and I am all ready to go to the gym. I just need to get my pre-workout meal. I kind of, part of me wants to go, part of me doesn't. Um, <laughs> I'm thinking I might make this session a little tiny bit shorter today. Um, yeah, just because I didn't recover super well after last night's session. Um, yeah, my recovery score was not great today. I think it was like 29% in the red so yeah <laughs> um also for anyone that's wondering um basically i get that score from an app that i use called athletic um i'll put a little screenshot up of what it looks like but yeah not sponsored by any means um but i just use it and i think it's really good um it's kind of like whoop but you don't need the subscription based model to be able to use it it's literally just like a one-time purchase i believe um on the app like on the app store so yeah really good i think personally um so if you're interested take a look but yeah my recovery is not super great today um so thinking of just taking it a little bit easier not obviously completely cancelling my session but just yeah taking it a little bit chill gym now i'm showered all freshened up and ready to eat my dinner um fraser has just got here tonight which is really really cool um normally he doesn't come here on a thursday but um i'm actually quite busy um on saturday i will reveal all on the day but yeah basically he is going back on saturday instead of sunday um so yeah that's the reason for the change around but it was a really good session i only did half an hour which i never do but obviously as i said my recovery was really low and to kind of fit within my target exertion range that was basically the most i could do um and i could feel it as well physically I was just really tired um, but I'm so glad that I got out and I did something and I've actually been to the gym twice this week which never happens but yeah 
gonna eat some dinner now and settle down for the evening. It is now Friday and we have just finished a day of working from home and we are about to head out on a walk. I did have a five and a half K easy run planned out for today, but honestly, <laughs> taking a walk is like, if I'm going at a fast enough pace on a walk, it's pretty much the same as going easy pace on a run. So yeah, basically I'm just gonna swap that out for today. Um, plus we've got that really, really long run tomorrow. We've got a 32K. So I just wanna make sure I'm all primed and ready for that. Um, so yeah, basically not really any reason for it, but just swapping it for a walk. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go out very, very soon and end it with a pint at the pub. Morning guys, it is now Saturday and I have basically just woken up. Um, it's probably about quarter past seven. We have to be on a really, really strict time schedule today. Um, I need to be out by eight at the very latest, but I'm probably gonna go out a bit earlier to be honest, cause I'm basically ready. Um, yeah, literally just have to pack up my stuff for my long run, pack up my vest, um, but other than that, I'm good to go. But yeah, reason we are on a strict time schedule today, I've realized I probably have actually put it in at least the thumbnail or the title or definitely the description, but I am going to the Eras tour today, which, oh my God, still doesn't feel real. I literally booked the tickets two weeks ago and yeah, so I haven't had much time to prepare at all. Um, don't 100% know what I'm gonna wear yet. I've got options, but I'm at least I've got time to think about it on my four hour run today. <laughs> um, yeah, it's 32 kilometers today. It's a very long one. Probably gonna take me about four hours. Okay, we are about one quarter of the way through. We've just gone over 8K, I think. Uh, maybe about eight and a half now. It's going very well so far, honestly. I didn't think it was gonna go this well. But yeah, I will see you when I'm halfway through. I am just under an hour and a half in, 11.7k and I'm just taking a tiny little walk to eat the Fadana. Um, I've only had two gummy sweets so far so I definitely need to get this down me and get some proper fuel in. Okay, I am finally heading back now. Um, I am 18k in and yeah, I think might potentially stop at a little cafe on route um, and I'll be about 7k away from finishing at that point. So I don't know, maybe. Might just get like a little juice or something just to hydrate, refresh myself. Whew. But I also managed to um, pick up some books that are in my back, <laughs> which the books I've worn for a really long time. So I'm really happy about that. It was in one of those um, telephone boxes that people, like basically it's like a library, essentially. Ooh. Okay, <sighs> my arm's hurting. I'm gonna carry on. <sighs> I'll see you in a bit. I am just over a half marathon in. I've got, well, 21.75. Oh my God, and my legs <laughs> are really hurting now. I'm just walking up this small hill and then I'll keep going, but, oh God, this is hard. <laughs> oh my goodness. I've just hit over 30K. I've literally got 2K left and I'm, so so almost home i'm gonna have the biggest glass of cold orange juice when i get back that is all i'm thinking about <laughs> almost there 
my watch is gonna vibrate now. <laughs> I'm done. <Ooh. laughs> oh my goodness, I'm done. I'm around the corner from my house, literally, like a 30 second walk. And I'm going to down some orange juice. I did that in three hours, 58, 58. So prediction was pretty right. Oh, I'm so glad that's done. <laughs> Now, I need to, yeah, get in, get a drink and get ready to go to the era store. Okay, we are all ready to go now, literally about to leave. Took me about an hour to get ready, so definitely not too bad. And I also managed to get some food in that time as well. And obviously gonna make sure that I fuel well enough throughout the day. Um, to be honest, I won't be super surprised if I'm not hungry today, but tomorrow will definitely be when it all hits me. <laughs> but yeah, literally just about to head off now and I'll see you when we get there. I just want to say like it's such a dream to perform for a crowd like this, especially when there's 92,000 of you operating on this level. It's magic. guys it is now sunday you may be able to hear the church bells going off in the background but it is about 10 o'clock i literally just woke up like 15 minutes ago we got in super super late last night literally like 2 30 something like that um yeah and literally went to bed straight away um we got McDonald's on the way home because I was starving, like, obviously after doing that run. And I think we ate dinner at, like, five o'clock, maybe? Um, yeah, I completely forgot to show you any of that. Um, but we, yeah, basically got into London, um, went for dinner, had like a drink at dinner as well which was really nice and then yeah made our way to the venue and it was incredible my knees are pretty sore today um kind of hurt a little bit walking down the stairs but obviously that is just after that very very long run yesterday um so i'm definitely gonna take a rest today chill out a bit um i'm actually not that tired to be honest but I literally got so much deep sleep, um, it's insane. I, my head hit the pillow, I went to sleep and just didn't wake up again until I heard the church bells going off, um, yeah, literally just before 10, so it was an incredible sleep, but I think I'm gonna finish the video here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up, comment down below, any other videos you want to see from me, and I'll see you in the next one.